I had fistula and this I came to know in year 2012, June. Uh, initially, I didn't know what it is actually. I had a swelling at the anal area and uh, slowly turned into pus. I went to a doctor and uh, he tried to treat me through antibiotics which I continued for almost 30 days and uh, but there was no improvement after that again I went to the doctor same doctor so he advised me ki you better see some surgeon then uh, I did some uh, research on internet and tried to find out what it is till then I didn't know what the problem is actually neither the doctor told me that it is fistula only on the net when I search the similar symptoms then I came to know that I am suffering from fistula and I had two openings. Uh, then uh, it was again a lot of uh, means, uh, uh, reading about the fistula on the net and I realized that most of the comments which I found on the net was uh, that I should not go into surgery because uh, once I go into surgery the case gets complicated. I was afraid after reading this and I tried to uh, avoid surgery and uh, try to find out alternate um, ways to overcome my problem actually. Uh, one of my uh, person in family, he advised me <coughs> to continue with the sits bath which I did uh, to keep the, uh, the fistula open all the time. Okay. Uh, I continued with the sits bath and for almost one and a half month. Meanwhile, I tried my homeopathy medicine also, but there was no improvement after even after taking the homeopathy medicine. All, it was all, uh, I think in uh, July or August 2014, I tried to, that I was fed up almost with the fistula that it was, I was not reaching anywhere. And uh, finally, uh, after consulting within my family, I decided I should go for surgery. The next step was to find out a best surgeon actually. And for that I did some research on the net and uh, I came to know about Dr. Ashish Bhanoth. Uh, I again I tried to find out uh, more information about him on the net only and uh, I came across few testimonials uh, of him, of his patients who were quite happy and had very positive results. There, then I decided to go for surgery and finally we came and met Dr. Ashish Bhanoth at NOAA hospital. Uh, he looked at the problem and advised me to go for surgery and uh, I was given uh, that uh, time will take almost six to eight weeks to completely heal. I was quite nervous when I first came here but uh, since I have made up my mind, I went for the surgery and uh, the first uh, surgery was quite uh, okay. There was, uh, the pus had start, uh, stopped completely, but uh, 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 after two weeks, I think or four weeks, I had to come again and, uh, and Dr. Bhanoth again advised me to go for another minor cut or surgery and uh, I went through th 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 three such procedures and uh, the first procedure was done on 24th of October. Today it is uh, 29th of January and I can say that I have completely healed uh, and there is no pus and the scar, there is no even no scar also now and I am back to the stage where I was uh, my pre fistula stage actually and uh, I'm quite satisfied and quite happy. I never imagined that I'll overcome this problem uh, so easily, in fact. And, uh, and I hope it doesn't recur. Meanwhile, I also uh, changed my food habits. Uh, I found out that uh, avoiding certain things, you can improve your health uh, drastically, especially your constipation and all that. Uh, the food which I am avoiding completely is first is milk, second is sugar and third is all starch based product. These three things one should avoid to improve his or her health. What was the 
actual symptoms which were bothering you before the surgery and uh, what how much difference you found immediately and what was the difficulties you felt during the procedure and after the procedure or when you started your work back before uh, the procedure uh, although there was a drainage continuous drainage, it was quite irritating but it was not affecting my daily life i was continuing my work but somehow back of the mind it always irritated me that there is some problem and i am not able to overcome that post surgery uh, uh, as far as the work is concerned i think uh, i was on the bed on hardly for two or three days uh, from the fourth day onward i started joining uh, going to my office and after that i never took an off like even after the second procedure or third procedure i was continuing attending my office